One of the best ways to try a new ad platform is to test it out on current customers or potentially your current prospects. And if you're looking to try TikTok for the first time, yes, you can upload a customer file of leads or prospects. Then you can look at seeing, are they currently engaging with it or can you retarget to them to actually close the deal? In this video, we will show you where the TikTok customer file lives. Then we'll show you how you can add it in your accounts as both a targeting option and an exclusion. Right now, I'm in the main dashboard in TikTok Ads Manager. No matter where you are in Ads Manager, in order to upload a customer file, we first need to go up to Tools, and then we need to choose Audience Manager. Next, you'll want to go and create an audience, and then choose Custom Audience. And here we will see the option to upload a customer file. I'll move my mouse so I can highlight this section here. Your file needs to be a CSV or TXT file, but one thing it doesn't do is actually give you the file template. So I'm gonna help you out here. It is available in one of the TikTok ad support pages, but I'm not gonna make you search for that. I have the link to the template file in this video description. And just a heads up, the link doesn't send you to a page. Clicking on the link will be an automatic file download to whatever system you're using to watch this video. So if you're watching on mobile, save this video. You can always go back into the description and download it whenever you get to a desktop. But I already have the template open, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, I understand I blew this file up annoyingly huge, but it's pretty simple. Besides your header, which you will need when you upload the file, think of each row as an individual person. And maybe your CRM collects multiple emails for the same person. Maybe you have a personal email, a work email. You can add multiple columns. Notice how each of these emails are different, but we can tell it's the same person. That's allowed. Now, one rule with this format with emails in TikTok is that it has to be all lowercase. And we understand depending on how some CRMs or email platforms export it, try to remove any quotes or odd symbols from it that don't make sense with an email so your upload doesn't get rejected. Next, we see the options for phone numbers. If you have multiple phone numbers for each user, add a separate column for each phone number option. Now, ignore these just because I don't have the columns expanded enough, that's fine. But don't put any spaces or dashes within the phone number. And make sure that you also include the country code at the beginning. That is mandatory. And if you're wondering what MADE is, that is mobile ad ID, if you do have it, definitely not as common. Notice the examples here. The mobile ID needs to either be all lowercase or all uppercase. That capitalization or no capitalization needs to be consistent. The file link that I shared, you might have noticed up here, it is a CSV. Now these files do allow hash data, but TikTok will hash it automatically if you haven't done it already. So let's hop back into TikTok, and then I'm just gonna upload a file example. There we see the file name down below. Next, you want to name your audience, and then we can scroll down a little bit, and there's just a few more options. First is audience enhancement. Think of this as audience expansion. Letting TikTok add similar users who perform similar behaviors as the file that you uploaded. If you have a larger list, consider testing leaving it off first. But there have been a few times where we've used this with clients that we have to turn it on just because our initial list doesn't have the best match rate and we still want to have some volume in this audience when we're using it to target within a campaign. And then for reach and frequency, if that is the campaign goal that you want to use, you can turn the setting on. But for now, I'm going to click confirm. We had it formatted properly and I will clarify the one I uploaded was just emails. So I removed all the other columns and only included email. So I'm going to click done. And now we have to wait while the data is processing. Notice it can't take up to 24 hours. So while this audience is processing, we kind of have to wait. So I'm going to pause my recording right now, magically jump ahead of time to when the audience is processed, and then I'll show you what to do once the customer file audience is ready. As we can see, we have a good list built. Total match, over 6,000 users, and we have the green light showing that it's available. I'm going to be honest, it took me a while to get to this point. And that's for a couple of reasons. First, the minimum audience size in TikTok is 1,000 users. And I shouldn't even correct that in saying it's 1,000 matched users. So just think of a typical match rate. Even if it's a 50% match rate, that means your minimum list that you upload needs to be 2,000 users. Now, problems that we typically run into, since Michelle and I are mostly lead gen, is that a lot of our clients' email lists are professional accounts. A lot of corporate and work emails, and we found that those are much harder to match. Users sign up for TikTok with their personal emails, not their work emails. This list that we uploaded had over 33,000 emails to it. 
and we're only matching to just over 6,000. I'm not saying you're going to have that same experience. Like I said, pretty much all of our clients are in the lead gen space, not necessarily a typical consumer focused audience that would be easier to attract on TikTok. But anyway, we have an audience. It's up there. It's ready to go. Now let's create a campaign where we can target our customer files. So we'll go back up to campaign. Let's see if we can open one of the drafts. We'll edit this one. It's a traffic objective, but I know when I started to create the audience, I did say allow it to be used for reach based objectives. Scrolling down, there's the campaign name. I'm gonna click continue. And that'll take us to our ad group. There's other settings here. Feel free to adjust those. Saved audience is not the one that we created. Saved audience will take everything that you're targeting within this ad group and you'll have the option to, it's in the name, save it, to use it for any future campaigns. It's a similar thing. It's the exact same concept as a saved audience like Facebook and LinkedIn has. But for customer files, we wanna go down to this audience section, and here we see the one list that we uploaded is available. Now, the reason I had the draft that we're in right now is to confirm one thing about uploading a customer file list, and that is the audience will not appear unless you have the green light available signal. So you cannot upload a file and try to get ahead and build the campaign so when it's ready to go, you can launch it. LinkedIn lets you do that. So this customer file example option did not show until it had enough users in it. And anytime you're thinking of a customer list type campaign, even if the campaign is not supposed to run for like a month or two, try to get the list in there as soon as possible. That's not just a TikTok recommendation, that's an overall recommendation. So there's no point in trying to get ahead building a TikTok campaign until this audience is ready. Now I'm gonna X out of this just to show you that maybe you don't wanna target the customer file, but you wanna exclude it from all your other campaigns so you're not showing ads to current customers. We'll just go down a little bit. Here we have exclude. If you select it, you can also use any customer file audiences as exclusions. Now there is a way to link CRMs with TikTok. We did have a video of how to do it with HubSpot, that can be an easier way to start excluding these users out. I did make another video about syncing those two platforms together. You could check it out here. Could be an easier way to get those audiences in there to exclude. But if you don't have that capability, understand that you can upload a list of your customers and exclude it. The same rules for audience minimums apply. And then you would just go down, finish your campaign, keep moving along, create your ads, and then you can launch it. But that's really all the steps that are needed to create a customer file, upload it to TikTok, and then add it to an ad group to either target or exclude. Customer list campaigns are something that we love to recommend to clients for a couple of reasons. First, it's a good way to see how a particular group engages on a platform. We have clients tell us all the time, eh, I don't think my clients are on TikTok, or I don't think my clients are on Facebook. Well, one thing we say is, well, let's upload a list. First, we'll be able to see how many are on there, and that can give us a good indicator of, well, if our current customers are already on this platform and engaging with us, odds are we can find a bunch of new potential customers who are just like our current ones. Because yes, lookalikes are available on TikTok as well. So you can go back up tools in your audience manager. And then if we hover over our list, look at, we can create a lookalike audience. So there's our source. If we scroll down, I can choose to broaden the amount of users if you really want to cast a wider net. I skip two steps, of course. I'm going to stick with just TikTok, and then I'll just choose all, and then I could click confirm, but I don't want to save this lookalike. But you get the point. So even if your client or boss doesn't have any plans to advertise on TikTok, but you think it could be a valuable asset, see if you can upload a list. Show your team members how many of their current customers are on the platform and then try to find some unique targeting options that TikTok does have, and maybe there's better ways to reach your target audience than some of the other ad platforms provide. All of us can pinpoint wasted ad spend in some channels. See if you can pause those efforts and move the ad spend to test something new. If you have any other questions on how customer lists work within TikTok, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.